Hello everyone. Let's solve the problem smallest missing integer greater than the sequential prefix sum. So it was given in the biweekly contest 121. The problem was easy one, but the question was a bit difficult. So first I will try to explain you the question. <coughs> then we can see uh, the different logics to solve this problem and the coding part you can try by yourself because if you know the logic you should code yourself so that you can learn the language. Now you are given a zero index array of integer numbers. A prefix nums 0 to i is sequential if nums of j is equals to nums of j minus 1 plus 1. That means it's saying that from 0 to i we will have different numbers. Suppose we can have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and it nums of j. It nums of j is equals to nums of j minus 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1. So these numbers should be sequential and 0 to i and if the sequence is breaking here sub so sequence is breaking here we should take only these elements now he's saying that the prefix consisting only nums of 0 is sequential that means every time my first first index will be considered so every time my 0 index will be considered and from there I will check uh, my prefix uh, prefix sum and I don't care about other uh, other sequences suppose uh, we can have like this suppose we have elements 1 2 3 4 5 and then we have 7 8 9 here he is saying that from 1 to 5 we can take because it is starting from nums of 0 but 7 8 9 yes these are also sequential but we should not take because he is saying only nums of 0 we need to return the smallest integer x missing from nums such that x is greater than or equal to sum of longest sequential prefix saying that you know, if you add all these terms it will be 15 right it will be 15 now we need to find some x such that that x should be greater than the 15 and it should not present in our array that should not present in the array let's see with this example we have 1 2 3 2 5 now if you observe carefully here we have 1 2 3 as our sequence the sum is 6 and we can see 6 is not present in this array so 6 will be my answer now let's see this example here my sequence is 3 4 5 only 3 4 5 right because here we are getting 1 the sequence is missing only 3 4 5 so my sum is 12 now 12 as yes, my 12 is existed then I will check for 13 13 is exist in the solution then I will check for 14 still 14 is there in the solution then I will check for 15 15 is not present in the solution so I will return 15 so I think you have got it. Uh, you can try with the different approaches because the constraints are very low. Try to code by yourself. Uh, I think you have tried it. Now let's see the coding part. Now here we have taken a count sum and we are uh, this is the sequence like uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 the sequential order. We are checking nums of i minus 1 plus 1 is equal to nums of i and we are adding into the count sum. After adding into the count sum, we are sorting the nums dot begin dot. That means uh, we are sorting it. If we sort this, we will get 1, 3, 4, 5, 12, 13, and 14. Now we are sorting it. My count sum will be here. My count sum 3, 4, 5, that is 12. From 12, I will go. My count sum is 12. So here I am checking from i is equal to 0, i less than nums dot size. If my count sum 12 is equals to 1 no is not equals to 1 it will check for every element now my 12 is equals to 12 yes my 12 is matching with 12 so I am incrementing the count it is becoming 13 then I will check 13 is equals to 13 yes it is matching then 14 14 is matching then it is going for 15 and my all elements are completed so we are returning the count we are returning the count I think you have got it so my time complexity will be order of n into log n because we have used it for the sorting so if you uh, if you understand if you are new uh, please do like if you understand the solution please do like and if you are new to the channel please consider to subscribe i will see you in the next video till then bye bye